hi guys in this video we will learn about date trunk function so date trunk function truncates date to specified condition given in the expression and then it returns a new date so syntax is date trunk of uh, we need to give the date part comma uh, any date field comma start of the week here start of the week is optional if we don't enter start of the week then it is determined by the data source for example with the date trunk function we can find the date of the beginning of the year or quarter or month for any existing date value so let's take let's see some examples so date trunk of year comma so we'll give some date uh, 2004 8 15 so the output of this uh, uh, calculated field will be 2004 uh, January 1st so which is the beginning of the year similarly if we give uh, quarter as date part then it returns the starting date of that quarter 2004 so August uh, the August quarter begins from July so it gives the output 2004 July 1st so if we give the month as the date part so August 1st 2004 will be the output okay now we will see an use case where we can apply this function uh, in this table uh, we have order dates and uh, sales information so the requirement is to create a line chart by quarter so okay now we will write a calculation to get the quarter beginning dates for all the date values in this table so date trunk date part is given as quarter there so we'll see the exact date what it is returning if we see here we have all the dates uh, for the quarter dates beginning Let's convert this table as a line chart. Since we don't know, we don't need to show the exact dates. We'll change the format of this uh, date field. Uh, we can enter. Uh, we can take the custom. So now the field uh, label is converted as 2017 Q1. 